oftentimes I get asked, Precious, how do you get your puddles so neat? Or Precious, how do you properly puddle? Or why do my poofies look so big? I'm going to let you in on a secret on how you could get polished backdrops just by simply, for one, caring, and for two, puddling your bottom. If those of you that's in the posh drop know that that's one of my biggest pet peeves and know that's one something I kind of zero in on and look for first, um, other than placement and measurement, right? So dig into this tip here. <laughs> common newbie mistakes right it's not um that it's bad it's just that you know newbies really don't know so a lot of you guys will just tend to you know create your design and it, it just you know that's it's just kind of like that and one thing i want to tell you is that this is one of the biggest things that can deter you from professionalism when people normally see this it's like yeah the backdrop cute but it's not polished so in order for you guys to achieve that polished look what you wanna do is pay attention to, for one, your colors, right? However your colors are in order up top, you want them to be in the same exact order at the bottom. And you want them to just filter through. If you have pleats at the top, then guess what? You ultimately should have pleats at the bottom as well. And then what you wanna do is just pretty much pick your fabric up, right? If you are familiar with old day, like Easter time, when you used to have to actually be a lady and pick your dress up and go up the steps or things like that, same technique. Just pick it up, right? You want to pick it up and let it drop naturally wherever it is. And then tuck it. And the goal here is to cover up your base. Some bases are black, some are silver, but guess what? your client and their guests shouldn't know what color it is because you should be covering it up. So then you just come and get your last one. Do the same exact thing. Put your access in the back. Only thing you want to do, you don't need a big old poofy mess. You just want to make sure everything is kind of lined up. Looking neat. Now I wouldn't have too much white showing simply because one, it's poly fabric. I don't like how poly fabric is really stiff. It doesn't give you a fluid look. So I'm just gonna have a little bit, just like I got a little bit up top. And I want my green and my pink, since they are the primary colors, for the AKAs, I want that to come through. So once you polish up your bottom, next thing you wanna do is just simply add your tie back. And since I know this sorority loves bling, right? I'm gonna use the bling wrap, right? And we're just gonna sit here and pulp. Make sure you wanna cover up any kind of Whatever you guys are using, whether it's zip ties, pipe cleaners, whatever it is, you need none of them to show. Okay, now once you attach your uh, tie back, right? Now you want to just make sure that you are covering or providing like a cape with your pole cover, right? That's the whole purpose that is going to serve on the end of your backdrop. One, to cover up your hardware, and two, to act as a cape. So you just definitely want to make sure you're covering all of your hardware. Once you polish your bottoms and you attach your tie backs and you make sure everything is polished, all your pleats and everything like that, guess what? Voila, you are completely done with your design. And at that point, you should just kind of be in love. So if this idea actually came from the community, so guess what? If you have any ideas, anything that you would like to see me add to the YouTube channel, put it down below in the comments so I can get it onto the schedule. Also, if you found this video to be helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because otherwise you won't know when I'm putting up a new video. And if you are new to Pipe and Drape and would like to learn my techniques, guess what? I have a membership program that teaches you online all the tricks in the trade of pipe and drape and how you can drape just like a pro so you can attract higher paying clients so you can make more money doing exactly what you love. If that sounds interesting to you, click that link down below in the description and enroll into the program.